you guys have heard me so many times talk about clarity of intention and I won't get tired of talking about this because I know this is where everything stems from and once a man can learn how to be clear in his intent I mean with everything that he does and I, I, I'm just gonna consistently talk about this for as long as I make new YouTube videos or I'm on this earth I'll always talk about this when it comes to helping men understand how do I get women into my life how do I start to generate attraction? How can I start to do all these things and interaction that I want to do? It comes from being clear in your intent. When you are clear in your intent, something happens. When you are not clear in your intent, something happens. But what happens when you're clear in your intent? You get the girl or you get the lesson. You grow, something good happens. But what happened when you're not clear in your intent? You will never get the girl. The girl may actually, you actually you might get the girl, but she'll be leading everything. You don't want a girl that's leading everything because you'll feel like you don't have any power. What happens when you're not clear in your intent? The woman doesn't know that you fucking want her. She wants to be wanted by a man who specifically has a desire to want her who specifically has a desire inside itself for her. She loves that feeling, the feeling of you wanting her, who she really is beneath what she may show you as what's gonna give you a result. And if I have to break down what clarity of intention is, because I've talked about developing clarity of intention, I've talked about uh, what is intention, but I wanna talk to you mainly in this video about being able to do something with the desire that arises in you. Because the desire that arises in you wants to go somewhere. That is what the intention. The intention is being able to, as the desire arises inside of you, move it towards something. And it usually wants to move towards something that you, that you want in that moment. So when the desire to meet a woman pops up, it wants to prepare you to go meet the girl. When the desire pops up for you to be able to know what she like underneath what she's showing you, it wants you to ask this question and it wants you to do this. And what you're learning how to do is roll with the thing that's pulling you in the moment. Your intuitive impulse is for you to be able to clearly show what you want in this moment. So as the desire pops up inside of you, as it arises inside of you, the thing that you must understand is that it wants to move toward a resolution. And that resolution is usually what you want. So as you have a desire and it wants to move towards a resolution, if you're not obedient to that desire, then you will go into unhappiness. That, that happens every single time. Or you're going to frustration. Or you're going to um, a self-doubt cycle. Whatever it may be, you will start to uh, negatively feel something because you're not obedient to the thing that arises inside of you. And a good thing that you need to understand with yourself is that you have natural desires that want to move somewhere. And that's everything from wanting to meet a woman, to wanting to have sex with her, to wanting to break up with her, whatever it may be, you have natural desires that pop up inside of you based on whatever it is that you want. And being a man and, and going out there and meeting women, it's so natural for you to feel in this moment I want to meet this girl. It's so natural for you to feel in this moment I want to know what she's like. It's so natural for you to feel I don't wonder what her playful side is like. I wonder what she's like sexually. I wonder what she's like um, out, out, outside of what she's showing me. Like really wanting to get deep. I wonder what she's like. That is natural and normal. And as a man, if you can learn how to, as those desires pop up, clearly show that through what? Through the things you say through your way of being, through you being in front of the girl and looking at her and it being in your eyes. Because a guy, his tendency, is his natural tendency is to close down in his intent. That's his natural tendency because from when you were little, you've been told that having a certain, having certain intents are good. But then there's these other intents that you should always shy away from. The intent to uh, harm, which is actually something you should not you know, want, but the intent to do anything that's completely um, outside the norm. It's just like, allow yourself to not do that because if you do that, there's something bad gonna happen. If you show your sexuality, something bad is gonna happen. And that's what it stems from. Your parents telling you that, oh no, that's a bad intent. If you want to 
uh, get to know a girl and you want to meet her on the street, that's a bad thing to do because that's what creeps do. Or if you want to have sex with a girl after meeting her without trying to go on a date with her, that's a bad thing because that means that you only want her for sex. And then guys start to think to themselves that, oh my God, I only want women for sex because when I'm around her, I feel that I want to have sex with her. Oh my God, this is bad. I better go on a few dates first before, you know, I be that bad person my mom told me about. Or I be that bad person that the church told me about. And the main intent that every guy on earth is always struggling with is sexual intent. That's the main one. Because it's the one that the, has the most clutter around it. And why is it not clear? Because if it was super clear, if literally, if sexuality for men, if, if it was okay for men to really be clear, I mean really be clear, rapes would stop. Men catcalling would stop. Uh, men getting, uh, being afraid to be rough with their woman in the bedroom, it would actually happen. If, if, if sexuality really was a, was, a, was a fucking thing that was looked upon instead of not looked upon, instead of people looking down upon it, oh man, the, the, the whole world would change. It, if around men and the way they treat women, it would completely change because when sexuality is shown to men throughout time in a way that this is right, this is wrong, this is right, this is wrong, men start to get confused about what's right and what's wrong. So that makes a man confused about when should he show his sexual intent and when should he not sh should show his sexual intent. And the thing that really scares men is if I show my sexual intent, doesn't mean I'm a creep. Doesn't mean I'm a bad person. Doesn't mean I'm a man who doesn't care. Because women are constantly pushing on to you that oh man, all men want sex and this and guys don't want to be with that. They're like, oh I don't want just I don't want just sex, man. I want to get to know you. I want to know what you're like and you know, and a lot of it is just cover up too because he's just what he really wants to say, yeah, I am a man that's sexual, but at the same time I do want to get to know you. If it was really a green light for men in the world, then you would not be looking at this video. You really wouldn't because you would know that being sexual is completely okay. Completely okay. And people who believe that being sexual is not, you would actually see that they don't believe that. And you wouldn't see it as, okay, that's the thing. And I should be we're weary of them because if I'm around them, I better be this way. And when I'm around these people, I better be this way. No, you would just allow yourself to be like, I'm a sexual man to this person or that person. Being sexual, being a person that is, being a man that's very, very in alignment with his desire to want to fuck. That is totally fine, man. It is. It's totally fine. And I think the thing that will help you get from where you are to where you want to go is just understanding that you have natural desires that are, that are in you. And they show up. They show up all the time. And you can feel it. Every single time you're in front of women that you desire or you see a woman you desire on the street, they show up. You're in front of a woman, you're talking to her. A natural desire for something shows up. And the key to you being able to be clear to that desire is for you to be able to clearly express it. How do you clearly express desires? How are you there in front of a woman, you learn how to clearly express your desires as they show up? How can you be clear in your intent when you're in front of a woman and not be someone that's constantly in confusion about should I do this or do that? You must be obedient to your desires. Obedient, which means that you must be like, yes, desire. You're there, and I'm going to be obedient to you by expressing you. Yes, desire, you're there, and I'm going to be obedient to you by expressing you. Be obedient to your desires. Every time you're not obedient, what happens? You tell me. I can tell you what happens, but you already know. Every time you're in front of a girl and you feel the impulse to want to ask her a question that you really want to ask her, and that's not just some normal question that you think will get to know her, what happens? What happens when you're in front of a girl and you really want to show your sexual desire because you feel in this moment, my God, this girl's arousing me, and you don't do it? What happens? You feel it, and you know it. You know what it's like to be in front of a woman and to feel something, feel something strongly, whether whatever degree it may be, feel something and not do anything about it. Because all the men that I know who feel something and show it, they get results. They either get the girl, or the girl shows them that right now is not the time, or the girl absolutely is repulsed by it. That's really where you go with that. Once you start clearly showing your desire, clearly showing your intent in the moment, clearly showing it bodily, to the way you move, the way you look in her eyes, to what you say. When you start clearly doing that, 
you clearly get something back. Every single time, you clearly get something back. And once you're able to do that over and over and over, you, get, you become okay expressing your intent. Because you see what happens when it's accepted, when it has resistance, and when it's completely not accepted. The main ones you have to learn how to deal with in life is when it has resistance. Because when it has resistance, that's when you're gonna learn. Of course, the one where you're not accepted, you're gonna learn from that one too. But when it has resistance up against it, which means that when it's blocked for the moment, that's when it's gonna, you're gonna, the woman's gonna see your true character. And we're mainly talking about sexual intent because she, she doesn't really block you getting to know her. But a lot of times women may go block the sexual intent or they may go meh like that, the sexual intent. Or they may give it back or they may do something where they block it. Or they go, why are you looking at me like that? And, it's, and it's, you probably start to think like, is she blocking it or this and this? Yeah, in that moment she might be because she has resistance to this sexual intent coming towards her because she don't know if she can unleash hers. But your ability to just stay with that when she acts like this, your ability to not be moved by that and just really stay with it is going to allow her to know that, yeah, you can release your sexual desire as well. And then you release and you look away or you may start talking about something else. But you still let her know that even though you may freak out about me showing my sexual desire, I'm still okay with showing it even if you freak out. And not like freak out isn't don't do this. And she's like, don't look at me like that. If she does that, of course, that means she doesn't want it at all. But her saying things like, why are you looking at me like that? Or her just feeling some way about it. That's good. She wants to feel that. But she also wants to know that once she feel that, how are you going to respond when I don't give it right back to you? Ah, you're still there with it. Now that she can be open to that because she can relax into the truth of the fact that you feel that and you're willing to show that and you're not willing to be moved by the fact that she shows this. And that's what's sexy. She's like, when I give him this, how do he respond? Oh, he responds like this, which is that he is the way he is, whether I like it or not. That's sexy because I can see that he doesn't need me. He still wants me, even though I'm giving him resistance to it. But at the same time, he still has the empathy to not blaze it so strong where I feel so like pinned down by it. Clarity of intention to me is one of the hardest things I think a man can learn because you really start to experiment with what is it like when you completely live open and exposed, free and naked. That's how it feels when you literally are showing your desire all the time. I used to be in a place where I wasn't doing that. I didn't clearly always show my desires. I didn't clearly always show my intent because I had fear around it. I had fear around what if I showed this and then a girl thought I was weird? Or what if I showed it like this and she thought I was like all the other black dudes? What if I showed it like this and she thought I was creepy? What if I asked this question and she thought I was an idiot? And then I started experimenting. And yeah, you're right. I had to deal with some girls believing that I was stupid for asking certain questions. I had to deal with some girls just not wanting my sexual intent and thinking that I'm a sleaze for doing that. I had to deal with some girls, me looking at them, looking me looking them up and down, them feeling weird about that and really not wanting me to talk to them. But at the same time, I also had to deal with girls wanting that so much. Girls wanted me to take them. Girls wanted to be uh, fucked by me. Girls wanted me to kiss them. Girls opening more because I didn't move from doing that. Any moment of me doing that, in any kind of way, she wasn't moved by it. So I had to deal with it in both ways. And man, it's, it's been changing for me. It has. And that's why I talk about clarity of intention so much because a lot of guys are always trying to go up here to see what is the thing I should do right now in this moment with this woman. Instead of coming back down here and moving from their intention moving from where the desire, the, the desire takes them to in the moment. So there's certain moments where you're with the girl where you really want to get to know her deeply and then in the midst of that, you feel like you want to fuck her. But she just has turned you on by something that she said. And then there's times when you're talking to a girl where you're just like, I think she's playful. What is she like when she's playful? And you have this and, and it's curiosity about her playful side. And you start to try to go into a role play or something like that. And it becomes really, really uh, um, interesting and enticing. And then from that, maybe you feel from that you start wanting her or want to have sex with her. You want to feel, you feel intense sexual desire come over you. And you may get a hard dick while you're in front of her. Or maybe while you're with her, you start to talk to her and then as you're looking her in the eyes, you notice that she really can't hold your eye contact. So you're wondering why, okay, 
what is it about this woman makes her not want to hold eye contact? Is she, you know, afraid of eye contact? Is she somebody that is afraid of showing me something? And you want to dig deeper into that, so you're more curious in them about that. <laughs> but it all stems from what is the desire to show up, and are you willing to take it to where it wants to go? Because it wants to move towards a resolution. Every desire that happens inside you wants to move toward a resolution. It does. And the resolution may even be a look. <laughs> That's what it is. You might have a desire to look at a woman. That literally must, may be what it is. And you look. Maybe your desire in the moment is to get to know her. And you get to know her. Maybe your desire in the moment is to just look her in the eyes with the I like you. Whatever it may be, your desire in the moment when you're around women, something happens. Something. When you see a woman you like, you have a desire for something. Whatever it may be. And a lot of guys go, when I see women, my first desire is that I want to have sex with her. You're fucking lying. That's not your desire. Your desire may be, this girl is sexy to me, she's this, this, and this. But if you actually want to have sex with her, walk up to that woman. And if she starts acting weird, if you walk up to her and you want to have sex with her, let's say that you think your desire is that, oh man, I want to fuck this girl, walk up to her. Do it. And go with my desire is to want to fuck her. And watch what happens. Because what if she's really, really like weird and you say hello to her and she's like, ha, hi, and she does that. Do you think you still want to fuck her? Because you're forgetting that sexual energy comes from her and you. And that's the feeling that makes you really want to fuck her. It's the way she moves, the way she talks, the things that, that, that she brings up, the way her mind works. It's these things about her, the way she smiles, the way she laughs, the way she touches you. These, it's these things that make you want to fuck a girl, not just being in front of her and saying, I want to fuck her, because that's a very pornographic way to do it. And it's not the real way that sexual energy flows. You may actually feel some inside of you, so maybe you feel turned on when you see her, but the true desire to want to fuck her will not come until you're in front of her. It won't. It will not show up. It won't show up. And if you think that it's showing up before you go up to her, it's because in the moment, you're only after one thing. But when you're really after the girl fully, yes, when I see girls, I go, oh my God, oh my God, she looks so sexy. Her ass looks so amazing in her jeans. Or, oh my God, she's completely my type. But for sure, I don't feel the desire to fuck that woman because I know that I've, I've, I've been like, maybe that's a desire to want to fuck her. And I walked up to her and I said hello to her and then she was weird in some way. And I'm like, I actually don't want to do this. And there are certain girls who I'm just like, oh, the way she moves is kind of moving me. And I walk up to her and she's like, hi. And the way she looks at me and I, immediately I get a heart on. Immediately I get an erection. So it's happened in many different ways, but understand that when you have a desire, it'll show up. And if you're obedient to it, it'll move in a direction because once you're obedient to it, you act on it. And you clearly act on it. Clearly do the thing. Clearly act on the desire in some way, whether it be a look, whether it be saying something to her, whether it be saying, hey, you know what? You are a sexy woman and I love the way that you move and I love your, your style of being. Let's go out tonight, let's have a drink. And clearly say the thing that's meaningful to you, that's true for you. Because to give you some insight into it, what's really behind clarity of intention is truth. Being able to express whatever is true for you. That's actually what's behind clarity. If you can express truth, you can express clarity. They're, they're aligned in the same thing. If you can express truth, you can express clarity. That's why I am so good at expressing myself in a clear way is because I'm always truthful. Sometimes it's fucking difficult. You're right. It's difficult for me to express myself in a clear way because of all the past conditioning that wants to pop up when I want to express something. But I have to cut through it so I can express what I want to express. I have to cut through the part of myself that's afraid to show her my sexual intent and then just show it. So to end on this video, the main thing that I want you guys to get from this is when you have a desire, be obedient to it. You are obedient to your desire. Yes, you are. Mm. Obedient, yes. Be obedient to your desire. Every desire you have is there for a reason. It's moving you towards what you want. If you're obedient to it, you will get what you want. That doesn't mean that you will get the girl, but you will get a desired result. And from that desired result, it'll either be a lesson or the woman. And from the lesson, you will have gathered internal strength. Maybe you didn't get the woman, but the lesson is strong too. Or you get the woman and the lesson. 
it's, it's, it can happen in many ways but you must be obedient to the things that show up inside of you because they're showing up for a reason the fact that they're showing up for a reason give them the obedience that it deserves and once you do that you'll see your interactions start to unfold in a different way this is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles and you guys subscribe below to Essence of Solo um, this is my last days in New York City it's been a, a great time here filming and you know coaching and I look forward to seeing all you guys and all you new guys in the future at some point if you really want to do coaching with me at some point or the TNL team go to naturallifestyles.com go to the contact page put in inquiry and you'll have me at your disposal okay I'll see you guys later Tony Solo here